I liked it from the very second that I sprayed it, guys. The fragrance money. Hey, what's up, guys? This is Josh here. Today, I want to review Sean John Unforgivable. Now, this is a fragrance that is unforgivable that I've slept on it for so long because I actually really, really enjoy this fragrance, guys. To me, right off the bat, I sprayed it up and it reminds me 100% of Millicent Imperial. I probably should have watched some other people's videos before this. I didn't read anybody's reviews on Fragrantica. To me, I really like Millicent Imperial. It's kind of a unique citrusy style summer scent. It's got its own unique vibe. And with so many fragrances copying so many unique notes, it's just so nice and fresh to have Millicent Imperial personally in my arsenal for the summer. As soon as I sprayed this, it's very, very similar to Millicent Imperial. I knew right off the bat it wasn't gonna be the same because Millicent Imperial, a little bit of of rich nice nuances that I don't think it was going to cover 100% especially for so cheap but it has the general essence and to be honest it's not not really trying to go for the exact style smell it's a little bit more of a cologne style normal style fragrance vibe with this one but I really 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 enjoy it and I'm pretty sure this came out in 2006 and Millicent Imperial came out in 2005 so this was on its coattails and trying to copy the success to be honest I, I can't really blame them if I was going to get in the fragrance game I would go after fragrances that either people don't know about or that are hard to get and I would kind of want to create my own version of those. That's kind of where I would start so I do not blame P. Diddy or Diddy for doing that one. The, shots. the notes here are tangerine, green mandarin, rum, bergamot, grapefruit, Sicilian lemon. In the original Millicent Imperial, there isn't any rum. All the other fragrance notes there are just kind of like different kinds of citruses, and that's kind of what this is, a very lime green, not fully lime green, but like elements of lime green. Really nice citrus style fragrance, very nice for the summer. And Millicent Imperial doesn't have that great of projection. This has about the same, maybe a little bit longer. Again, it's not 100% copying all the richness and all the nuances, but it's the general style smell. And for me, somebody who likes Millicent Imperial, I really enjoy it. So the pros and the cons, there's not too much I could say on either one because it kind of is how close it is to Millicent Imperial. And if you like Millicent Imperial, that's kind of gonna determine whether you're gonna like this fragrance. A little bit of uniqueness, a little bit of sexiness. I haven't really smelled this just absolutely everywhere and that's kind of like the pros. The cons is that it doesn't smell 100% like Millicent Imperial, especially when you spray it back side by side, you can definitely notice the nuances there. This one has just a little bit more of a cologne style vibe, a little bit more of a normal style vibe, but to be honest, when I spray it on its own, it just smells very, very good. It's mainly when you compare them that you notice a lot more, but to be honest, even after knowing that comparison, I'll still spray this one up and I still really, really like it. I liked it from the very second that I sprayed it, guys. There's not really anything major with the cons. It doesn't smell 100% like it, and it's probably not the best for cold weather, but this is kind of a hot weather fragrance as it is. Besides that, I don't have too many cons. It doesn't last forever, but the original Millicent Imperial doesn't last forever either, and I almost felt like this might last a little bit longer. If I would give this a smell rating, I'd probably give it a solid eight, maybe up to an 8.5, just because I really like Millicent Imperial, but eight to an 8.5 for the smell likability i would give it probably a solid 8.5 it's just super super likable something you haven't smelled everywhere at the same time so i really think though that combination it is very likable and it is very good at the same time so 8.5 for likability longevity and projection i'd probably give us a solid 7.5 maybe 7 to a 7.5 when i spray this up i had pretty decent longevity and projection uh, especially considering that millisecond period you don't get that much i feel like this was a tad bit more but at the same time not lasting forever. I feel like the normal Meryl Sam Imperial, you get maybe like an hour, maybe hour 15, hour 30. I feel like this was like about a nice 90 minute projection, maybe a little bit over 90 minutes, but not really up to two hours. That was kind of my thing with it. But I gotta say, I just tried that Jaguar Pace and I felt like this had a lot more projection per spray than the Jaguar Pace. So this is definitely one I'd recommend, guys. And you've probably already tried it. You already have your opinion on it and all that kind of stuff. But if you haven't tried it, you're just getting into fragrances, this is one of the highest ones I'd recommend just getting in there, especially if you want a unique, sexy summer scent as a male. Then my two cents on Sean John Unforgivable. Let me know what you think of Sean John Unforgivable when we're on the road to 25,000 subscribers. And I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help because you guys are the absolute best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully you're having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.